Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And on this episode, we're going to continue working on the 2001 F350. Uh, we did the nose swap already, and I never got a chance to finish the uh, the cow cover. And there's a few reasons why uh, this one's kind of messed up. So I was thinking uh, to order a new uh, cow set and then replace it. But I think I'm going to use this as a template because I was going to throw this away anyways. The weather stripping kind of sucks, and there's a few other things over there that, that are kind of messed up. And uh, I was gonna use this as a template and because I will still have to trim it over here, I believe somewhere. And these have the snap in pins right here. There's a couple here, a few here on the bottom here. And basically those will not snap in because it, they don't line up uh, with the pins on the 2001 because this is the 2015 style cowl. So what some people do is they cut them off and then they snap in a couple of them and, and call it good. But uh, there's a couple things that I noticed that I didn't like. Uh, it was raining quite a bit and here's what kind of what I didn't like was going on over here on the Cal area. You got some uh, quite a bit of rain here and what I did realize when it uh, when it's raining on the Cal itself there's no drain there's no gutter design of any kind so even though the plastic goes on top water still kind of gets behind it uh, by you know going down the windshield so all the water goes onto the metal and then it just runs off into the engine bay. As we can see right here in this area, this whole big uh, panel section, there's no gutter, there's no anything that's preventing the water from pretty much going down onto the engine and into the valley. Uh, but meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and put and work with the plastic cowl, get that fitted, and then I'll see what I can come up with with the drain system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and trim all these off all of them completely and then i'm going to be able to place this in here without the little you know sticks and clip-ons affecting the the uh, centering of the cowl because i want to get it as center as possible with the cowl with the hood with the fender and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to drill uh, i'm going to make a center hole where all these uh, studs were that way when this is in place and in center what i'm going to do is i'm going to use those holes and pretty much mark the spots exactly where i need to drill the spots for this for the cowl to snap in that way when i get the new one i'll know exactly where the hole is going to be and it's going to snap in right in and i don't have, and i won't have to worry about realigning everything it's, i know it's going to be pretty much where it should be so i'm going to go ahead and trim those off get the centered and then we'll see uh what it looks like Uh, lined up I used a screw over here kind of 
in the spot where it snaps in. So I'm not really drilling a hole. I'm just kind of going into the hole where the pin goes in. Uh, so that's kind of slightly holding it in place uh, because when I was closing the hood, it was kind of flopping around. But everything else is pretty much lined up how it should. The line with the hood is good. It's pretty much, you know, nice and leveled. And same thing on this side. Screw to kind of hold it in place. It's a little bit loose, so I mean, it's nothing, you know, nothing tight, but just to hold it in place so it doesn't flop around. The bottom is not flush because the design is obviously different. That's not made for um, this year truck. It's made for, you know, 11 and, and, and newer, but this will need to be trimmed because when it's closing, uh, you won't be able to tell, but because when it's closing, it's pressing down on the plastic. Plus it looks kind of funny sticking out too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a marker, trim it underneath uh, to line up with this line right here and just kind of cut it as flush as possible to make it look a bit nicer. Same thing on this side. And you can see the holes that I drilled out, those are the, the pins that will not snap into anything. So on the new cowl that I have, I can just trim those on the bottom because they're not gonna be, well, I'm gonna be cutting this section off anyways. I'll probably do a few screws here one two one two and trim the rest of it off and then over here in the back let's see what we got on the back now for the studs that i removed and drilled the hole here's what we got here there's no there's no hole here so we're gonna have to make a hole here obviously there's there's one here that snaps in this one has this one has no hole either so i'm gonna have to do one here this one let me see if i can get there all right, so this one has one, so this one would be fine. And then on the driver's side, there's a square right there. There's nothing here. There's an open area right here, and there's one right here. It. this hole goes into the original hole right here that one is not used uh, here I had to drill a hole and then I used a, a PVC pipe spacer to raise it up just a little bit and I use one of those um, compression thread inserts same thing on here I was trying to make it work with the original thread right here but then this is gonna be it was gonna be sitting too high so I ended up dropping it down drilling a hole using the one of those compression threads uh squeeze that in there and it's good to go now it should be where it should be uh, i connected the the plug right here now let's see if it works i got the trigger right here okay that's on slow 
Let's go on medium. And this is on, let's see, I don't know. Let's go on the fastest. Okay, the fastest, working pretty good. I'm not hitting anything over here. The biggest problem was that over here hitting. That's why this part had to be trimmed a little bit. It's like barely clearing it. There we go. Now I know all these are centered and pretty much down. So I can install the windshield wipers when I'm done with the cowl. I'm gonna go ahead and install rubber uh, weather sealing on the bottom here. I'm gonna, I got this guy from, I got this from, I think either Lowe's or, I think it was Lowe's or Home Depot, but it's double-sided on this side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it over here. That way when the cow is gonna go down, it's gonna push it down and then the water, if it's gonna come down here, it's gonna go off uh, to the sides instead of running down into the engine and into the valley. And then another layer on top. That way it's gonna be kind of catching it running whatever it's just going to be you know leaving the area instead of running down from here all the way down to here into the valley so yeah basically just gonna try to protect the engine as much as i can from any uh runoff from the windshield when it's raining because when i saw it, that it was actually running down all the way and it wasn't draining that was kind of pretty seemed like a pretty dumb design and let's see on the bottom you can actually, you actually already tell that it's uh, got some dirt there some water got a little muddy there but i'll be cleaning uh, the engine bay once again once I'm done so let's go ahead and install this and install the cowl uh, the plastic cover and see what it looks like By the way, on the bottom, I shaved off pretty much all of the little imperfections, uh, little lines, the rubber uh, seal that's in here, pretty much everything that I could to make it as straight as possible. When I bolt it down, it's gonna look straight, not gonna look too, you know, too weird. Cause uh, with, the, with this one being cut, it looked kind of super weird with this being skinny and then this part being thick. So pretty much trimmed everything to make it look as factory as possible. So I guess we'll see how it looks when it's done. I guess here we go in the cowl it's pretty much done for now i temporarily put these in here uh until i find some bolts and plus i need to find a new one of these uh, because it's cracked and i'm probably gonna go underneath here like that this one here it's just cracking it's all dry and just falling apart so i'm gonna do that and i'm probably gonna go ahead and paint this a little bit so it doesn't stand out so much because when you look at here you can see all the white uh, but i'll just paint it probably a brush i don't want to take this off I'll just lift it off, paint it with a brush, and it'll be good to go. All right, pretty good. Antenna is off center just because the gear is different. This one's a little bit off center. I trimmed that part right here in the back, the rubber piece. This one's a little bit off center, obviously. That's why I lowered this side a little bit because it was gonna be a little bit too high. So, I mean, if I was to do this again, I would uh, completely lower it even more and go to the left a little bit. That way this can go down and left a little bit. I mean, I would completely redo it um, a little bit differently. But for what we got, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, the gap, pretty good gap. And it's pretty level. The gap's good here, here. The rubber's tucked in here. I mean, it's not super perfect, obviously, but it is. I don't think it's going to get any better. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this will help you in the future if you ever want to do no swap. Uh, it's not that easy, honestly. Uh, would I do it again? Maybe not, <laughs> but, but it's, it's, it's doable. And if you guys want to see how I did the motor and the windshield wiper assembly, 
I'll have a link down in the description below so you guys can check it out when I was doing that and that will give you a better idea of what you need to do to make it work. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.